The Bold and the Beautiful lived up to its name in 1997, boldly going on location to shoot the beauty of Lake Como and a glittering fashion show. Meanwhile, daytime's number one soap, The Young and the Restless, told the story of Sharon, a mother who nearly lost one child, then found another. Hi, welcome back to the Soap Opera Hall of Fame. Now, all night long, we've been giving you little hints, little snippets of what we thought were the best stories of 1997. Now, if you'll stay with us, we're going to show you what Soap Opera Weekly thought was the best of the best. In 1997, our favorite soap characters were at it again. You know what happened. You kidnapped her. I do not have her. Kidnappings, murder trials, plane crashes, and a case of mistaken paternity. You're not the father of my baby. We watched them struggle with drug addiction and personal tragedy. Is that baby dead? Love triangles and evil lookalikes. You look so much like me. They brought us glamour and romance. This ring? Their characters span from the bizarre to the outrageous, but their antics have us hooked. And while we all have our favorite story, just one could be selected into the Hall of Fame. I am very, very happy to present the 1997 Storyline of the Year to the Reva, Josh, Annie Triangle, Guiding Light. 1997 marked the 60th year for Guiding Light, and another page in the decade-long Reva Josh story, played by Kim Zimmer and Robert Newman. After being lost for two years, returns to Springfield, only to find her husband Josh has married Annie. The whole concept of us for them, I think, is this idea that they were meant to be from the beginning of time. I can't be married to you anymore. <laughs> Annie, played by Cynthia Watros, not only loses Josh, but also miscarries their baby. I lost his baby, thanks to Reva Shane. This could work out to my advantage. Reva, no! Annie fakes her fall down the stairs and frames Reva for the baby's death. Reva was convinced that she was going to be spending the rest of her life in jail, had been accused of, of the attempted murder of Annie and the, the de death of her unborn child. Reva Shane, it is the ruling of this court that all charges against you be dismissed. Annie wasn't about to let it in there. I had, you know, my reasons, but um, I kind of went overboard. The Hall of Fame thought it was the best story of 1997. What did the actors think? The final thing that, uh, you know, leaving Reba in the plane while I parachuted out with the video camera is, uh, you know, I think I just went a little bit too far. I knew that we had something very special with the trio that was happening, with the Annie Josh trio, and I knew that it was a great story. So great that, you know, we'll probably do it again. <laughs> Well, the party went on for hours here at Planet Hollywood. Yes, it did. It was a great time, and uh, there's no resting on our laurels, though. I'm Peter Bergman, and like many of the other actors here, I have to go back to work first thing tomorrow morning, see if we can not create scenes as memorable and award-winning as those that are winning the Soap Opera Hall of Fame Awards. Well, I'm Mimi Torshin, and I'm sure that E will be there to cover all the backstage scoop, because if it happens in entertainment, it happens on E. Thanks. Good night. Good night.